Hi, this is Eddie. In today's video, we'll discuss how to fix a relayed helium hotspot under two minutes. But first, why should you fix the relayed in your helium hotspot? Well, it's quite simple because it can affect your mining and therefore your earnings. So the question is, how can I know if my helium hotspot is relayed or not? To check, click on your location inside the app or in Helium Explorer website and click on View Hotspot Details. If you do not see relayed in your dashboard, then your device is healthy. What can cause relayed to my Helium Hotspot? Whenever the connection between the router and your hotspot is interrupted. Examples of such interruptions are turning off any of the devices, either the router or the hotspot or both, or electricity outage, or even resetting your modem, or setting your hotspot to wireless to Ethernet or vice versa. This is your host Eddie, and now let's fix your relay. To fix it, it has nothing to do with your Helium hotspot. It's actually in your router. But the router is your internet provider. So whether you're on Linux or Microsoft or Windows or Apple, all we need to do is come here. You see this wireless? You just click on it. And if this is what you're using, you're going to have to look for something like it says open network, um, edit network, whatever. It's just we need the network. and what you're going to look for is here is going to be advanced in your thing. It might be settings, it might be edits. Our aim is to find TCP IP. So that's what you want. Once you find your TCP slash IP, what you need is to copy this IP address of your router and come to your web browser and paste it here. Once you paste it, you're going to see a login and password for your router. So if you haven't changed it, here are some of the most common factor username and passwords. So you can enter either admin as a username and admin as password, or you can try the second one, or try the third one, or the fourth one. This should give you access to your router as long as you have not changed it yourself. So once you log in, I'm trying to give you a way to make this universal. So do not look after mine or how it looks all you have to look is for manage my devices so we're looking for the helium hotspot it could be manage in your case in my case is manage it could be uh, settings it could be editing it could be access to my devices so the point is you're looking for a device that is connected to your router once you find them, the connected ones, you would find your phones, your iPads, your Echo B, anything that you have connected to the router, you should find them here to double check on this. Once you see them, they're connected, you should be able to find your helium hotspot. So once you find it, before clicking on it, you're going to click or copy this IP address of the helium hotspot. It's different than your router hotspot that we did uh, two minutes ago. So this is your Helium hotspot IP address. So once you click on it, it's going to open your settings. Once you open your settings, all you're going to have to do is change it from dynamic to reserved. It could be, in your case, static. But anyways, anything that's not dynamic should be reserved or static. And that's what you need. So you click on reserved, then it will show the IP address. Sometimes it doesn't. If it requires, then you copy this IP address over here. And once you're done, you click on save. Then we're going to look for port forwarding. Again, this port forwarding, sometimes it's under advanced and sometimes under network settings. Regardless, where it is. We're looking for port forwarding. Once you find it, and it should be with these elements here. So once you find it, you click on it, and then in my case it says create 
in your case it might say add so either one is the same thing so you click on it and what you're gonna do is you give it a name anything you want the internal port is 44158 this is something you can copy this is standard for all helium hotspots and the external hotspot is 44158 the protocol is TCP and once you click on select device I have this option here I select it and I should find helium hotspot I click on it and I'm good if I don't have this see here it's giving me an option either select or enter the IP address so I have both options yours might be only select device or yours maybe says only IP address so you copy the IP address from the helium hotspot okay once you're done you just click save and voila you're all set I just wanted to make sure that this is a universal standard that you guys look for the keyword names so you can regardless of your system you can actually figure this out uh, I think this is straightforward once you focus on these keywords and uh, if you guys don't know anything about helium and you just landed the first time there are many videos in there and uh, for that I think this is all good I invite you to subscribe